Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Testing Kayaks with Aliens. We are on one of my favorite places, Planet Earth, because I get to test my toys like this. We got a brand new, is it brand new? It's not brand new, brand new to me. Pelican Catch 120, regular. This is a regular paddle board. Paddle board? This is a regular paddle boat and there's lightning over there and it's about to rain so I better get this video started. So we are sitting on the high sitting position. I could feel it like it's a little tippy. Stability test coming soon. So if you've seen this video and it's been a week or so, now the video is gonna be around here somewhere. You hear that? It's gonna rain. I did a video doing a walkthrough but I didn't show you guys the bottom hole and here it is. Hopefully you can see it. See that? You see that? kind of like tunnel hole design we're gonna flip it tomorrow because we want to see how stable it is look I don't know where this was made but it could have been it could be in the house or it could be where I got it from so I'm gonna bring it down wasn't part of the plan and I'm gonna put the seat here in the high sitting position for now what we want to do now is just want to do like a demo, water speed demo, see how fast it is, get a feel for the stability, and stay tuned for the flipping videos course. Alright, so this is the Pelican Cash 120, regular, very light boat, like super light. There you go. So now let's bring the rest of the things that we need. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna take a rod because it's, 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 there's lining going on and I, I don't want to bring it to me so easy rigo for the camera setup I'm gonna put the fish finder on the right side so we could tell how fast we're going easy with rail blasted mounts and um, didn't have time to rig up my energized outdoor battery so I'm gonna use my Bixby battery which works but this is a lot of money if you have a Bixby already, great, but if not, the Energize Outdoor is a better deal. Alright, so it turns on. To keep this out of the way, I'm just going to stick it inside here. Hopefully it doesn't give me any headaches. Stick it in there, see what's up. Move. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Okay, this is a stand-up strap. Now this camera right here, I'm gonna put it on the other side. Doesn't the other thing that we have to do is get the paddle, which we have a paddle they sent me, which is not included with the boat. This paddle is extra. It's a hundred bucks, some fiberglass paddle, really good. And we're just gonna put it here for now. If you want to check my full walkthrough video, it's going to be linked somewhere around here. Go check it out because that I go in depth about everything that this kayak has to offer. Now worry about it. My phone is waterproof. And now worry about a little bit of water. You look outside and the weather is like trash. Okay, that was easy. Boom. Paddle. Let's go. Let me fix this. Do this. Wow, through grass and everything. Ah, uh, sun is over there. Let's turn around. I could tell you that the high sitting position feels a little tippy. I'm not gonna do whoops the stability test right now because yeah I think how you could easily flip. So I just wanna go super slow, easy paddle to see how fast it paddles and you know I'm just putting the blade on the water, just easy paddling. And this thing is moving three miles an hour, 3.2, 3.3. <clears throat> Easy paddling. No. Oh, it just like glides, right? So I'm gonna keep going all the way to the grass. I'm gonna increase the speed. This is like more like doing an effort. And uh, we 4.4 miles an hour. This is now like the maximum start speed, but 
just like giving a little bit of effort now now we're gonna hit grass grass in front of me just gonna go through all this grass see what's up this is the beauty of a paddle only kayak that you go in really shallow areas like this and it just glides through it look at this look at this this is awesome guys this is playing awesome right here you could get really shallow 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 even like hit the ground shallow all right so let me get out of here oh you hear that starting to rain we're gonna go like three different speed levels all right so first let's just go like this just putting the blade on the water like i did before this is like 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 dude like i don't even want to paddle like 3.1 three miles an hour like seriously like i'm done been working all day so tired can't even move dude like i'm not even putting the paddle on the water like look at this i'm just putting the paddle and bring it two miles an hour now let's do a little more speed right so let's put that blade on the water and do a little bit of effort all right so let's see 3.2 miles an hour i'm trying to turn that's why it looks awkward let's just turn at once all right so let's do this 3.4 3.5 making a little bit of effort 3.6 but it's not it's not a crazy paddle yet now let's crank it up but i want to crank it up on the way back because i want to use that camera angle and the sun is behind me you hear that it started to rain again it turns really well not as good as a shorter kayak but it, you could turn quickly if you have to that's great this is a uh, almost 12 foot all right so i'm gonna crank it up guys 4.4 4.6 5 miles an hour oh that was an awful paddling right there my god five miles an hour maximum uh, seems to be in line with any other kind this size wonder if going lower will make it a better paddling experience we're gonna check that but before that we want to stand up and we want to see we want to see how easy it is to do that now we are on the higher sitting position that means it'll be easier to just stand up and we did with that standing up I feel very stable here in this platform I could cast I could probably even fight a fish no issue standing up I'm not gonna walk on I'm gonna I'm not gonna risk it that video is coming soon again I said it like three times so uh, subscribe for that whatever doesn't matter all right so it's very stable I want to lower the seat see how well it paddles with the seat lower you hear that thunder going on this is crazy but it looks beautiful right here looks beautiful um the sun is setting over there and there's like storm far away and there's rain here and i'm here trying to fix my gopro and i did it all right so let's bring the seat down something i didn't mention before it also brings two scoper blocks which i just took out so that some of the water go away let's lose this a little bit paddle rest bring the seat down good see it's down let's strap it real good oh what a difference what a difference this is awesome feel more at home in the lower sitting position definitely of course i'm lower i have to adjust the paddle rest paddle rest to the full rest like i'm talking chinese here maybe a little more but this is good right here this is good all right so let's see now let's see how it turns from this sitting position it's good not bad oh you hear that mm, i feel more more resistant paddling lower so let me see if i give it a little an inch to this paddle see what's up Maybe I just tired, but all right. So easy, 
3.6. Let's go higher. For some reason, and correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're sitting lower, when pretty much flat with a super wide kayak like this, it's harder to paddle. When you're up, you have less thing to worry about to hit, like the paddle stroke is easier to make. I could be wrong about that, but if you have experience in that, comment down below. Now on my walkthrough video, I mentioned that this seat has a little gap in here. Where the seat goes, there's a, like a wider gap and that this seat was going to move side to side if I paddle fast. Didn't happen. Why? Because I strapped down this thing real good. It happened on the Cash 130s and I thought it was going to be the same thing, but it's not. And here it's not moving that much. There's a smaller gap on the back, so maybe that, that has something to do with it. It paddles well, like 4 miles an hour at this pace, 4.3, 4.4. I mean, lower. you see that I hit the hole and the other, when I was paddling with the sea high, I didn't hit that hole at all. Again, I hit it again. <laughs> so that was three miles an hour, easy pace. So I say it paddles very well, it's a super light kayak. You have so much room here to make it work for you. You could definitely add additional gear tracks right here because those two, only two, they're not enough you need more you could definitely put some more gear tracks right here so you could put a fish finder in there maybe widen this scupper hole right here and put those cables through if you need to to feed that transducer over there and uh it's a really nice kayak I, i'm liking it a lot and it's because of how simple it is it is also not expensive it feels stable, a little tippy when you're standing up, like when you're in this higher sitting position. But right here, I feel like I'm at home. The, the seat is super comfortable. You don't feel that much material, type of material in your butt. That's great. Um, so for this kayak, the highest speed that we got was five miles an hour. Maybe you are superhuman. You could go six, seven miles an hour. I don't know. For me, it's five. Um, other kayaks it's like 5.2 5 even the smaller one is five miles an hour so like maybe that's the limit of this little boat it's weird because even with the torquedo i bet you this will be like five and a 5.2 5, 5 miles an hour even with the torquedo so but we, we're gonna test that definitely we're looking forward to test that and the bispy as well and maybe a trolling motor so guys it's the underwater demo of this kayak we're gonna put a link down below an affiliate link that is gonna take you to either whatever store is selling then so you could buy it and when you do that when you buy through that link this channel benefits because i'm gonna say it some people <laughs> complain about this like one guy making videos cost money uh a lot of money like sometimes i i made videos where i drove 500 miles and the video only made 100 bucks and i, I lost money right there i lost money and it didn't hit me until the other day that i was looking at it i go like shoot i drove 500 miles plus gas toll and this video only made a hundred dollars so i'm losing money there right but anyways uh other videos don't cost that much money to make and you make money and kayaks like this when you get them you make videos about it and then you sell them and you recoup some of that money that you spend while making the videos but it's still it's not free and even my time my time is worth money uh just like your time think about it you go to work you punch in you expect somebody to pay you because you're doing work it's pretty much the same thing here i'm doing this because i love it but if we don't have a financial benefit that at least allows me to make the videos i won't be able to make the videos simple as that yeah i could go and sit on my couch and talk about the weather and maybe become like a super super uh, uh, so selfful youtuber just sitting on my couch just talking about the weather but the odds of that are really slim and i'll be bored as hell so I, I do this because I like it and also because there is a financial benefit to it. Look at this, like when I started this channel, like I only had, well, maybe like two, four kayaks. I think I had four kayaks. I sold two, I only stayed with two. And look at this, now I have any kayak I want. Now I have pretty much any fishing gear I want. Now I have countless friends, right? All because of this, this, because of you guys. So if there was no benefit 
for me to do this like ben monetary benefit the relationship benefit phone benefits i wouldn't be doing it but all that stuff had to work together because think about it like i have done videos that had taken me a week to do and if there's not an incentive behind that video i wouldn't have spent that week to do it i wouldn't have gone and drove to orlando left my family behind for four days if there was not an incentive for it and, and like that it's like everything you know <laughs>